Good morning and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are on our way to Kingman, Arizona. That is where Sin City Trailers, Jason, is relocating to. So, lots of upgrades <laughs> for Wanda. The biggest thing is the axle. Right now the axle is about eight. It's for 8,000 pounds. We're upgrading it to 10,000, 12,000, I'm not really sure. Anyway, the bedroom air conditioner is also not working along with a few other things that I want done to the trailer. So for example, I've already marked it. The gray tank is too tight. We're gonna replace the plug to one of those quick plug things. And there's more in the inside. So I'll we'll do an update when everything is done that he's done. And also walk around Jason's new Jason's new location. Jason is backing it in. This is actually very nice. I'm not worried about anyone taking Wanda only because no one knows it's up here. This is great. <laughs> okay, this is his new warehouse. <laughs> and I guess these are the guys putting it up. Oh, there are so many things I'm going to give you. <laughs> this is great. Oh my God, look at these views. It's magnificent. So how many? Five acres? Yeah, so acre. goes down there. Yeah, and it probably goes, goes up the over, hill a little not, bit. It kind of got, ends down in the valley. Oh, there's there. a valley. Yeah, and then right up there. Oh, so. you look at, yeah. oh, look at your views though. Yeah. Wow. It was actually fun coming up here. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad drive, is it? I, I set it on cruise control. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, at mile two, it started to go up and down. And then the cruise control said, nope, <laughs> off. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, uh, let me hit four wheel drive. So I got to <laughs> use four wheel drive. Right. Yeah, the, road, the road's actually. Not, it's actually, not, not it was decent. Right now, really, I'm yeah. not. I would not hesitate to bring my trailer up here. It, anyone watching, it, it, yes, it is a dirt road, but it's not, it's not a hard dirt road. It's a pretty good dirt road. So we're going to walk around some more. Okay. I have a little bunch of crap that I cleared out of my storage unit. I'm going to give to Jason. Oh, Everyone knows Jason. Hello. <laughs> We're completely off grid out here. So, so you have is that your? That's my wells over here. Your well, okay, well, solar. Yeah, yeah, little solar panels. Yeah, I run my generator and it pumps the water up to that black tank up there. Okay. And then it gravity feeds to the house and I have a water pump in the house. So and where do you get electric? No. Solar. Well, I have basically the same setup you have in your trailer. Okay. Runs my house. Same inverters. I've got 600 amp hours of batteries. And I have some solar. I don't have enough solar yet, so I just have to run my generator okay. a couple, two, three hours a day to recharge the batteries. Okay. But is that enough to sustain you for a couple um, of days? Or yeah, just I mean, if night? I fill them, we can go a couple of days. If we don't do laundry, we can go longer than that. But I we'll recognize be... that trailer. That one was in the shop up there, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, unless we're, if we're doing laundry, that's the only thing that really eats up the power. Um, other than that, because the, the refrigerator is propane, oh. um, gas range, gas heaters, and they're just radiant heaters, so they're not, don't have a fan in them, gas water heater, so, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And this is leveled. It looks leveled. It's, 
it's intentionally <clears throat> not quite well done. Oh. Because occasionally you, like when you're chasing water leaks, oh. you, um, you, you end up with water leaking, right? Well, we made it slope so that the water runs off. Okay. Instead of having to deal with it. So. Cool. It's, yeah, it's 1,800 square feet. I'm going to run all... It, you know what? You could fit two RVs. Two oh, rigs in there. No at Three. It's Four. 60 feet long. So you can go two normal yeah, size airstreams nose to tail. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up all my tools on the one side. So I'll be able to actually take and depending on sizes, be able to stack in. Okay. Yeah. But again, I don't have to have the stuff inside all the time. Here. No. I roll it in, work on it, roll it out. Versus like the shop up there where we're stuck that with That end it. fell off, I think. Where it needs to come in yeah. that corner. I'm not worried about someone taking anything no. up here because you're hidden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody comes up this road. <laughs> Perfect. Right there? Right My neighbor there. up the street would like nothing more than to have a trespasser. <laughs> I, have oh. one, I have one neighbor. You have one neighbor. Yeah. I, you can maybe see his flag from here. Yeah. This is top of the house. Oh, right there. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's a guy that just bought the house over here, but he hasn't. He's moved a bunch of his crap over there, but he hasn't moved in. I, I all I see are boats. Yeah, he, he's the house is kind of down the hill. It's really really trashy. There's a lot of it. This house is gutted when we bought it. It was. Um, I mean, I've still got a lot of work to do on it, but it's it's coming along. Starlink. Yeah, we're gonna go with Starlink. <laughs> that Hughes and that bullshit is so I, worthless. It, I love you. What is it? One for me, it's one thirty. Yeah, but because that's the mobile. But uh, you're not mobile, so right. yours is twenty five dollars less. Yeah, so it's a little bit over a hundred. Yeah, that's so good. yeah, this is good, good, yeah. good. Uh, uh, Diane and Bob trailer. Right oh, I like this. Yeah, a little smaller. Smaller is better. Yeah, it's a 5,000 pounds, so you shouldn't have any issues with it. It's got the drop down foot, so you don't have to use blocks. Oh, even better. Yeah. Oh, I missed this trailer. Okay, um, I'll just walk around. Um, we didn't do anything in the park right now, Matt. Do you want a storage board, though? You, want me you, get, you made me one. I did make you one yeah. already? Okay. Yay! Down. I kind of tied everything else up out of the way a little bit more. Good. And because then, once we pull it out, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, it is. This thing's a bitch to roll back up because I had to, I had to unroll it to roll it. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's it's tough. It's going to be a bitch. Yeah. But you know what? It will make it easier for us yeah. because we don't have to do this. With that stuff there, it's kind of a get this around, but it works. Okay. Yeah, we don't ever lock that. Uh, no reason to lock it. Well, especially now. Rims and tires. <gasps> Yay! Okay, what's the PSI on this thing? You'll still run the same. It's the same? Yeah. What about still... what about the torque for the lug nuts? Still the same, 110 pounds. Okay. I torqued them, but because they're aluminum wheels, you should retorque like maybe at the petrol station. Okay. Just retighten. Okay. They tell you after 20 miles, after you've had them off, you should retorque. Okay. Um, 6,000 pound axles. Yeah. Brand new brakes, obviously. I drove it in here and the way you adjust these brakes <laughs> is you drive backwards and you hit the brakes real hard so i was able to get into adjusting some if you don't feel like they're grabbing enough just stop on asphalt put it in reverse hit your brakes a couple of times and they'll and they'll they'll tighten up because they're self-adjusting oh you took the stickers off i tell you what some of this stuff i am having a real hard time getting off but i know you um i know you usually have it detailed yeah i do so i figured they'd probably they will do it um yeah oh my god i've gotten so much request for this yeah <laughs> that was such an easy thing we shortened that cabinet door and did that um well you bet you knew saying um i can't remember the this is huge one. yeah yeah this was the exact model you sent me Oh, and it just fits in here. Oh, so any bigger it wouldn't have. Oh, look at this. Yeah, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Um, you didn't have a lot of water in here. I water tested everything with what you had. Okay. A little bit. That, and then I, I took a, a can and dumped a couple of gallons down the drain to make sure my drain was tight. Okay. I didn't want to put water in it because we have well water that's not treated. So it goes moldy really fast in okay. a moldy tank. So I didn't want to leave well water in here. And this thing, oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put the you, the weight would have stopped that, so you kind of have to feed it. Oh, that's there. fine. Because I figured you'd rather the Berkey. Yeah, is right here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. And I just found out that the faucet they put in here originally mm -hmm. is a bar faucet. It's oh. not. A, it's not a kitchen it's not faucet. A kitchen faucet. Oh, interesting. That's why the handle was was so short. This light, there's nothing to do with this light. This is not replaceable. It's not falling out. I kind of got it back in there better than it was, but it's, um, we'd have to replace the hood. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't tell you this yet, but you're going to do another upgrade for me next year. Okay. Replacing the sink. Replacing oh, the, the stove. Oh, stove. Okay. I saw one where it's a gas stove in the front uh -huh. and then an induction oven in the back. Oh, that's cool. I didn't save it, so I don't know where I found it. Okay. But once I find it... I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. And then we're gonna replace this whole thing again. Oh, I'm okay. so sorry. That's all right. I don't care, you're paying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I adjusted this in here. Okay. And actually, what I did was I adjusted this one in. Okay. This was the one that was sticking out. Yeah. I tra I basically cut this handle in, and that's. Oh, okay. Can stick out. So yeah, this looks a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, I made too. those straight. The only thing I, I can't do anything with on this is this little bit of a gap here because. This is a deep drawer. And that's a small drawer. And this is a small drawer. And I made this cabinet, and this is what, what I would do different next time. I made this cabinet fit that cabinet. Okay. That cabinet's not square. So I had to kind of shim everything to get everything to work. Nothing is square. No, I would have, I should have built this cabinet square and then just dealt with putting it up against that cabinet. Okay, but well, anyway. lessons learned. Yeah. Your two uh, refrigerator door um, shelves are on indefinite back order, but they are ordered. Oh, okay. okay. In here, I kicked the it's bottom. Up, well, I, I kicked the bottom out three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then that allowed the whole thing to sit straight. Okay. We don't have enough room to go back that three quarters of an inch. Oh, shit. I forgot. I've got some uh, wood plugs for those. I'll go. I'll get them when you're up. Okay. Um, and then I put those in with longer screws and down there with longer screws. So everything's really Yeah, tight. it scared the hell out of me when this thing was leaning. Yeah. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah okay, so it shouldn't lean anymore. No, it ain't coming out. Okay. Okay. Um, we added the other door. Oh, good. I can see it now. Looks there. Um, down here, what I did was I, I, you did a good job on your repair. So I just wrapped it all up real tight. I taped each one and then, and then it's all wrapped together and then I tucked it away. Oh, thank you. So that's... you were very helpful. That was a very stressful morning for me. Oh, no problem. Oh, I don't. I don't even remember what I wanted done. Um, let's see. We have the new. Uh, oh, wonderful! The new fan there, and these have a little bit of have a like a shroud on them up top, so you can actually leave them open when you drive and stuff. Okay. Um, oh, look at that! It yeah. pulls that easily. Yeah. Right. Yeah, these are a nicer fan. Oh, did you put the the thing down here on the bottom? Yeah, I did that. <sighs> look at that! Yay! Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. Oh, I didn't. Because we poured, I, I did this stuff like as the parts came in, so I had to go through. And when I was taking a shower, it was leaking out. Yeah. The other fan's new in there. Oh look. Oh yeah, you got that going on. Different style. I don't care. I didn't think you would. It's out of the classic, but it's the only one I can get my hands on. I don't care. As long as it, it as long as it doesn't fall out. Yeah. Okay, we can take this off. Oh, is that what that was for? Just hold it in place. Uh. Oh, good. You put the other one in here, too. What's that? The other um, stopper, whatever these things are. These locking thingies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. You did the same here. Good. 
Yay. There's two here now. Yeah. Yep, and then the other little fans here. They're a little quieter, not much. Oh, is, you know, these fans are fabulous. Um, I like these fans better than the ones I have at home. Yeah. Because they suck the they, freaking they fart work. out. Yep. <laughs> Your lights work again. Those are yours, by the way. You know, I couldn't remember what else you told me. So, okay, I'll take them. And then I don't want them. I put your cable comes out over there and behind the bed. Over there. Perfect. If you want it longer, we can feed more, but I think that's long enough. The... Do you put the router up top? The router sits down oh, up there. I figured you'd jam the router in the hole down there. I could do that. Because the, the outlet's down there. Yeah, we can do that. Actually, it might be better if it's down there. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, too. Just keep it out of the way. Because uh -huh. Walter... This is his side of the bed. Oh, okay. He knocks it over sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay, see. this... Oh, they're working. Yeah. They... Yeah, I had to run new power to it. Okay. Yeah, they somewhere, work. Somewhere between the switch and the light, it had come apart. Because I had power at the switch, but I didn't have power at the lights. Okay. So I had to, I took this apart and ran up and ran into the ceiling and ran a new, a new wire to the lights. Why would that... <laughs> Weird. Okay. Bad connection. Probably they didn't get it fully. They use these these little um. They don't use crimps in in these things anymore. They use these little plastic. Um, I'm sorry. I still like my new floor. I do too. I just put this floor in the house. Oh. Same exact floor. <laughs> no, I like the textures. The te the. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. This looks so much better. Yeah. Yeah, I like sitting in there way better. Thank you for fixing that. Oh, no problem. That should have been... I, I just, I guess, missed that when we put it in. Oh, good. Oh, and the new, the new AC is on the front, too. Right? Oh! With a new AC start. <clears throat> okay, good. This back one... Don't tell me it's going to go soon. I think I figured out the rattle. Okay. And I might have fixed it. Okay. I don't know for sure. Um, I took the shroud off the top of it. I, I found where the, the motor shaft was a little bit like it wobbly. rattles when it starts and then stops okay. i don't know what yeah i don't really know if i fixed it or not i didn't charge anything for it because of that i just there's there's it's there's not a lot of repair but there was like a piece of plastic that was a little bit loose around okay. the band shroud that i was able to tighten up so yeah okay i this this is for next year okay someone told me that the New TVs, mm -hmm. they're not on one. T they're not on one ten. They're on fifteen volts. I don't know. I mean, I've seen some nice twelve volt TVs. They've come out with. Mm -hmm. Um. So we might be doing new TVs next okay. year. We can do that. Okay, Walter doesn't know about these oh, yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got a prep for those. <laughs> yeah. Okay, did we put LED lights underneath? We did. Okay, how do I turn those on? Those are on this remote. Oh. And here. Do I, what the power needs to be on or is it? Oh, it's, so I it's... I bought a set that's like a... These are the ones they use on limos and stuff. Okay. These are the actual light bars instead of the floppy ones. Okay. So you oh. turn it on, and then you can uh, change your colors cool. where you want. You can make them rainbow and stuff, too, like where they go multiple colors. Okay. Um, and then just turn it off. Oh, how cool. Okay. And then there's there's four light bars, two in, and two in the back. Okay. This is just for aesthetics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's always, that kind of stuff's cool. I can't remember what else I would have done. Uh, Air conditioning. Done. Uh, I've got, I've got uh, that was the that was the main important thing the axles. Uh, I like the top, I like the rims. Nice, huh? Yes, they match the they match the truck. Yeah, they do. Fin or may see. Oh yes, the shark fins. Oh yeah. 
Uh, bedroom AC, bedroom overhead lights, we talked about the axles we talked about. We didn't need to add any more support for the axles. The lift kit kind of does that anyway. Oh yeah, we did the lift kit. Yeah, so that's 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 done on there too. Okay, um, we might need to adjust the tow bar. We will. The Starlink cable. Yes. Plastic ground guard under shower door. Yes. Replace hitch. Oh yeah, the the, the tongue jack. Uh, bathroom doorknob. Yes. Kitchen sink. Yes. And faucet. Yes. Microwave. Microwave. No, forget oh, that. Micro yeah, there's nothing we can do. With yeah, that. we can't. You can't do uh, that. Under coat closet. Me. Okay, we talked about that. Uh, remove useless, never worked properly wine guard. I did pull that off and I filled the holes. <laughs> Thank um, you. Adjust drawers to make flush. We talked about that. Rivet missing inside cabinet over sink. I did that. Let me show it to you. Um, LED lights under. Stabilizer switches upside down. I fixed those. Yes, this thing right here. Uh, refrigerator um, not flush. Sewer we'll pulls too that. tight. Um, yeah. On those sewer pulls, short of completely replacing them, there's what I did is I lubed them. And, oh. And I think what the main culprit was was where the rod went through the rubber yeah. was sticking. So I used some silicone spray lube and sprayed all up in there, and it, they're operating nice. And that was it. Yeah. Uh, porch light. I couldn't get the um, the porch light to fail at all. Really? Yeah. So, and I don't see anything physically wrong with it. Okay. So I don't, I'm not sure what to do there. Well, we slam the door, it turns on. You see, it went perfectly. Uh, okay. Additional locks on the cabinets. We talked. We about did that. that. Stove vent light. Like we talked about that. The 50 amp spark plug. I got to fix your cord. And then the sharp ones on the on the vents. Oh yeah, you told me to bring a cord. Yeah. It does, they want like $600 for the smart cord. Yeah, I noticed that. And it's... Uh, so, this is the new smart plug. About a week after you came by, it was, um, we were getting 70 miles. Holy shit. About two days after I finished the shop. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad you finished the shop before the wits came. Yeah. Yours was inside during that time. But I was like, I was crossing my fingers because... You know, these, these buildings are supposed to be good for hurricane winds, but You're hurricane not. 75, you know. Oh, you didn't see the shop last time? Right? No, it wasn't up. It wasn't up. I still have a, a lot of stuff I have to put away. Oh, it's okay. Move, Organizing's up. Continuous. Yeah. You need me to hold something? Yeah, it's, I just gotta get it to brace against the um, the hitch. It's, it's so tight that you got it. Yeah. These electric impacts are good, but they they just don't do the really high braking torque. I have a, a good air impact, but then I have to bring my compressor out here. Uh. Wow, that much higher? Yeah, because we, we went up three inches on the uh, on the lift, plus about an inch on the tires. Oh, so we went up four inches. Yeah. Okay, is that why it's so high off the ground? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are really high off the ground. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so you won't be dragging driveways anymore. Nice clearance for getting in and out of everywhere. And plus with the hitch higher, it gives you some more room up there too. Okay.
was your Europe trip? Good and bad. Yeah. By the third week, I wanted to come home. <laughs> Hotel life. You know what? There's nothing beats being having your own stuff here. Yeah. Where do you keep this when you? Nothing beats having your own sheets, your own pillows, your own yep. toilet. We went to Vegas last week. Um, it was my wife's oldest. The lift bar, it is a lot higher. Three inches up, and the wheels are one inch higher too, so it's a four inch lift. And that is a lot of clearance underneath there now. Wow.